Are you ready for a great winter snowy day? Well, if you live in Florida like me, the answer is no. So in this video, we're gonna show several advanced snow effects here inside of After Effects that you can incorporate into your motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Slim Duck Film. If you're ready to bring winter and create snow inside of your computer, be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And let's go ahead and create some awesome snow effects. All right, as always, you can download the project file for free uh, and use this as a template. So we're gonna start off just with a simple title in here. And the first thing we wanna do is maybe create ourselves a background. So go layer new solid and then go to effect generate and we'll grab ourselves a gradient ramp. We'll make sure our top color is gonna be a nice sort of light blue color. And we'll go to our end of color and we'll do a nice rich darker blue. So now we can create our snow. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this uh, Illustrator file of a snowflake, uh, but you can use a PNG. So search up, you know, a snowflake that's a PNG file, uh, or you can just download the project files and get the snowflake that we're using here. So what we're gonna do is just hide this layer, and we'll go to Layer New Solid. We'll call this Graphic Snow One. Click OK. Then we'll go to Effect Simulation, and we're gonna grab Particle World. So we'll go to Particle. Set the particle type to a textured tri-polygon, drop down texture, and set that texture layer to that uh, Snowflake PNG or Illustrator file that you imported. And you'll see, if we zoom in here, the particles will take form of that Snowflake. Let's come here to the birth and depth size and set that both to one and the max opacity to 100%. Let's come here to the top, set the birth rate to 0.1 and the longevity to 10. Then let's go to the producer and let's set the position of Y to be above our composition. So we zoom out here, you'll see that this circle is the emitter of the particles. We just wanna make sure this is just right above our composition like this. And then we can also increase the radius X. Therefore, all the particles will be evenly distributed throughout the entire composition. Then the last thing we'll do is come here to physics and set the animation to twirl. And we'll come here to gravity and set this to 0 0.05. Another thing we need to do is take our particle layer here and move it forward in our timeline. This way the particles will automatically be distributed on the screen and up when we start our composition. So now if our first particle snow layer ready to go, here's what we have. So we're gonna quickly duplicate this and add some further variations. So we'll take our graphic snow layer, go to edit, duplicate. Let's open up extras and go to random seed and set this up to some random number. It doesn't really matter what you set this to. Then let's set the birth rate to one and this will add a lot more uh, snow particles in here. And then let's go to effect, uh, blur and sharpen and grab a camera lens blur. Let's set the blur radius to 20. All right, and then let's duplicate our first layer one more time. Let's go to the particle type and this time we'll set the birth size to three and the depth size to three as well. And then let's go to effect, blur and sharpen and grab a Gaussian blur. Set this up to five. So now we effectively have three different layers of particles with large particles, medium size, and background particles that are blurred out. So now we need to add in what I would call just filler snow, these small little snowflakes that are just flying in there for nice ambience. So to do this, we'll just go ahead and take our bottom graphic snow layer, we'll duplicate it. I'll rename this to small snow. Let's go to the particle. Let's set the particle type just to a uh, faded sphere. Let's change the birth and depth color to white. Let's set the birth and depth size to 0.1. And let's set the birth rate back up to two. So with our same physics set in place, we should have something like this. Then let's quickly take our layer, let's duplicate it. Let's set the birth rate up to 20 this time. Go back into the particle tab, set the birth and depth size to 0 0.05. And then let's go into extras and just adjust the random seed by a little bit. So, you know, that's looking pretty nice so far, but I want to go ahead and add some uh, camera movement and motion blur into this, and it's just going to look epic. All right, so let's go ahead and really take this next level by adding some nice camera movement for a good in transition, camera shake, uh, and also some epic motion blur. So what we'll do is come here to layer, new camera. We'll open it up, go to transform, add a keyframe for point of interest and position. We'll move these keyframes forward in time by maybe half a second. We'll come here to the top and we'll grab the dolly towards cursor tool. We'll zoom out of our scene just by clicking and dragging out. Then let's go to layer, new, null object. Let's parent the camera to the null. Hit R and keyboard for rotation, add a keyframe for it. Move the keyframe forward in time and then set the rotation to say maybe negative 25 or more. Then let's create one more null object, parent the previous null to the new one. Hit R and keyboard for rotation, all click the stopwatch, type in wiggle, open parenthesis 0.5 comma 50, and this will create some camera shake. So we'll have some opening rotation, and then some camera shake. And if you have any titles or graphics, go ahead and copy those rotation keyframes and paste it to, you know, any title or graphic that you wish to have. So I'm going to paste this onto my uh, title here. And make sure to turn on motion blur for everything. 
and we'll go ahead and create ourselves a quick layer, new adjustment layer. We'll go to effect, noise and grain, add noise, set to 12%, maybe uncheck use color noise, up to you. So now we have this very beautiful snow effect here inside of After Effects. So another thing that you can add to help bring more value to compositions are maybe external elements like light leaks that are within our light leak pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. And of course it's within our motion duck extension where you can preview everything before you apply. So I can preview this, click apply and it adds this light leak to our composition. And with our Motion Duck subscription, you get access to over 20,000 templates here for After Effects and Premiere Pro, which you can just drag and drop into your composition or timeline, edit it up and be done within a matter of minutes. And you can download our free pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So be sure to check out our links in the video description below. So for those of you who do not experience real snow in the winter time, well, now you can create your own snow effects here inside of After Effects and show off to all your friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and always be creating.